it's a mystery to me why coconut water doesn't get used more in rum cocktails. Heck, even in my own sort of spiced rum and sort of mixer review videos, I don't crack out coconut water. I wanna change that. I've got four highballs, simple serves that you can use with your favorite coconut water, which you can get worldwide. Let's be honest, we've got Viticoco in the UK, but whatever your brand is, these are gonna taste amazing. Now, I wouldn't say I've played extensively with coconut water, but the little bit I have played with is so I, the rums I've found work really, really well. Kind of Barbados rums, because they've naturally got that sort of coconut and pineapple element to them. Jamaican rums, I think, work really well. And light rums, and not to mention spiced rums, because they've got a little bit of extra sweetness, haven't they? Spiced rums, flavoured rums, like a pineapple rum, that sort of stuff, they're going to work. Uh, dark rums and heavily aged rums, I'm not overly convinced to go with coconut water that well. Uh, and agricole, actually, I haven't really found an agricole that I like with uh, with coconut water, but I'm prepared to sort of have my mind change that. Anyway, for your first time, all, as I say, plantation five-year-old, just a decent Barbados rum, 45 mil, top it up with coconut water, job done. Oh my God, that is just so good. The, it is the Barbados rum. I think that is my favourite kind of vibe with coconut water. This is, I wouldn't say sweet coconut water, but it's got plenty of flavour to it as well. You don't lose the rum in this at all. The rum shines through. It's just a match made in heaven. Now to step up to uh, three ingredients, like what's the obvious flavour to go with coconut? It's got to be pineapple, isn't it? So I'm going to use the Barbados rum again. I've got pineapple syrup if you've got pineapple puree, maybe even pineapple juice. You know, do that kind of thing. But I've just got Monin's uh, pineapple syrup here. I think it's superb for this. I will have Real's pineapple syrup here as well soon. I think Real, the puree sort of stuff will be even better because I like that sort of texture to my drinks. But again, just do that. Top up with coconut water. And then we're just going to simply give it a quick little stir. Combine the syrup. I'm laughing because that's so fun. It is fun, it is delicious, it is gorgeous. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun drinking that. Now for the third recipe, which is a four ingredient highball, we're gonna combine two of my sort of favorite tropical flavors together, which I think are gonna work so well with this. So we've got ginger liqueur, uh, Giffard ginger liqueur, 15 ml of that in there. And then combined with that, I am going guava syrup. I think guava, and we've got ODK's guava here, which is absolutely delicious. Unfortunately, Monin have delisted theirs in the UK and I think Europe, but so but ODK is really easy to get in the UK. And uh, Real, again, Real will be here behind the bar very soon. Real doing amazing sort of guava infused puree syrup, which is gonna be spectacular. But 15 mil of that as well. Top it up with coconut water. Quick stir to combine those ingredients. You might want a wedge of lime in this. You don't have to, I don't think you do. That's even more fun than the pineapple. Oh my God, that's good. Ginger and guava with coconut. Match made in heaven. Almost, you know, if you want to use those flavors in a pina colada as well, add a bit of guava sort of puree to your pina colada, maybe ginger syrup in there as well, whatever. Oh, this is stunning. Now for your first, fourth serve, I am sticking to a four ingredient highball again. Slightly different, I'm using crushed ice. I'm gonna combine that with passion fruit. So I've got a passion fruit syrup here. You know, in the US, the big fans of sort of funkin and mixed with sugar, 50-50. Uh, there's so many passion fruit purees and syrups in the UK that you can choose from. I'm just using this syrup here, just because it's a highball, you don't have to shake syrups. They just stir into cocktails really well. So 15 ml of that. We're gonna to top this up with uh, more coconut water. Top it up with more crushed ice. And I think some of you will get the fifth, fourth and final magic ingredient here. I'm gonna add a few dashes of Angostura bitters to the top of this. And as those bitters bleed into that cocktail, every couple of seconds, adding a bit more depth of flavor to that. The passion fruit, the coconut, that is divine. I love that serve. The rum, in all of these, you don't lose the rum at all. Now, the only question you've got to ask yourselves is, what are you going to mix with coconut water? Because I defy you not to mix that with rum and not fall in love with it.